Hello friends. Today uh, we will discuss about the Maxwell's third equation. So basically Maxwell's third equation is Faraday's law of uh, electromagnetic induction. So Faraday's law has uh, two statements. That is, there are two laws basically. First law is whenever there is change in magnetic flux in the circuit, an induced EMF is set up in the circuit. I repeat. Whenever there is change in the magnetic flux in the circuit, for example, we have this hypothetical circuit, just a very simple circuit and it has a galvanometer attached and there will be another components also. I am just showing the galvanometer. What is galvanometer? A galvanometer is an instrument that can deflect in both the direction and here is null point. So whenever there is change in the magnetic flux in the circuit an induced EMF is set up in the circuit. So what does it mean? Suppose we have a magnet and suppose if we move the magnet towards this circuit then this galvanometer will show deflection due to the induced EMF due to this magnet because if magnet will move so with magnet there will be magnetic flux so whenever there is it states that whenever magnetic flux linked with circuit changes then induced electromagnetic force is set up in the circuit this induced emf lasts so long as the change in magnetic flux continues if the magnet will move continuously then there will be induced EMF. Whenever it will stop, then EMF will stop. So, what is second law? Second law states that the magnitude of the induced EMF is equal to the rate of change of magnetic flux linked with the circuit uh, because, because EMF will be induced and the magnitude of induced EMF is equal to the rate of change of magnetic flux linked with the circuit that is if phi is the magnetic flux linked with the circuit then emf will be directly proportional to the rate of change of magnetic flux and where flux equals to integral of close integral of b dot ds now what is B? B is magnetic flux density and DS is the area element through which the flux is passing. So here negative sign is there, here negative sign is there, this negative sign due to Lenz's law. Now which states that induced EMF set up a current in such a direction that the magnetic effect produced by it opposes the cause producing it. That is the induced EMF set up a current this induced emf will set up a current in such a direction that the magnetic effect produced by it opposes the cause producing it in simple language the emf produced emf produced will be in the opposite direction of the reason of producing it of the reason of producing it for example if we have a magnet here and if it has a south pole here then in the circuit after the induction of the induced after induction of the emf the south pole will be developed here also in the circuit so south and south will repel each other south and south will repel each other this is basically lenz's law i will discuss the Lenz's law in detail in some other lecture. So, also by the definition of EMF E is equals to close integral of E dot dl. That is, EMF is the closed line integral of the non conservative electric field generated by the battery. That is, EMF is equals to integral of E dot dl. Now, we have equation number one EMF is minus d phi by dt, and we have EMF equals to integral of E dot dl equation number two now compare these two equations we will get close integral of e dot dl equals to minus 
d by dt b dot ds integral so this is equation 3 is the integral form of maxwell's third equation or faraday's law of electromagnetic induction so what about the differential form now if we will apply the stokes theorem to the left hand side of equation number 3 to change line integral to surface integral that is by stokes theorem this theorem is used to convert the line integral to surface integral now what is the line integral left hand side equation number 3 it is e dot dl if we apply the stokes theorem it will be converted into del cross e dot ds now remember here uh, these vector e the vector e this is basically vector e we will apply arrow here okay ds we will apply arrow here so these all are vectors so now by substituting above equation equation number three we will get del cross e dot ds equals to minus d by dt b dot ds now both these surface integral are equal only when their integrands are equal both these integrals will be equal if their integrands are equal for example if i will say x dx equals to integral of 2 dx these two integrals are equal only if x equals to 2 if x equals to 2 the same thing applies here that is del if del cross e equals to minus d by minus db by dt okay the two surface integrals are equal only when the integrands are equal therefore del cross e is equals to minus db by dt this is the differential form of maxwell's third equation we can arrive at this result also by rearranging the sides okay that is if we take the right hand side to left hand side then take out the common integral ds then we can also drive at this result otherwise the shortest method is the two surface integrals are equal only when the integrands are equal that is del cross e is equals to minus dv by dt equation 4 is the differential form of maxwell's third equation significance of maxwell's third equation it is time dependent equation remember the two maxwell equations are time first two maxwell equations are time independent it is time dependent equation it shows that whenever magnetic field changes electric field will be associated with it whenever here you can see equation number four right hand side whenever magnetic field changes that is db by dt electric field del cross c will be associated with it so for further reference please search our website also venusense.com please subscribe and like the like our channel share our channel and click the bell button thank you thanks a lot